I'm scared. All right. Do you know what you want? What you want? Okay, I definitely want a honey butter chicken biscuit. Um, I think you should get a cheeseburger of some kind. And then like, yes. Uh, can I have a honey butter chicken biscuit? Okay. What? They stopped? Yeah. That's why I wanted to come here. Just order something. All right. All right. Can I have the uh the uh? She said I get 50% off though. Huh? She said I get 50% off. No. That's what she said. You want more too? Yeah, I do. Why do you do so? Because <laughs> I hate it so Sometimes much. Sometimes it be working though. Too much. I ain't shit. Who does? Get him, Shay. Do you think she would fuck Mia? Do you think? Mia? Do you think she would fuck Mia? Thank you, Shay. Uh -huh. I appreciate you putting that 50% on there. <laughs> Thank you. You can get a free drink if you go to the next window. Alright, pay. Pay, right, pay. I need, can I get some, uh, y'all got a milkshake? Huh? What's up with the milkshake? I'm getting over it. Man, say Carla. <laughs> Let her know. What type of shake? Vanilla. You gonna get a medium. That's cool. Go ahead, I'm gonna say you Th paid for it. Thank you, Shay. I appreciate you. Oh. Y'all see how I do, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. God, you irritate me. But you love it though. And she put the discount on this house. Yeah. And she put the music ah! You hear me? No, she didn't. Alright, so she did the girl didn't say 18 something? No. Yes, she did. No, she did. Yes, she did. <laughs> no, she's I thought she said 1684. Well, either way, she put a discount on it. There's no discount. Yes, You're right, did. babe. You got it. You got it. That's why your name should be Lamisha. Why is the girl named Lamisha? Don't get on her. Bro, I know she didn't say 1584. She says 16 or 18. Why would it be $18? Bro, because my job was 18. I don't even, I'm not even excited anymore. <laughs> I don't want this. I wanted a honey butter chicken biscuit. Don't eat on the way around. I'm eating. I got it. And don't step on Louie. Who is Louie? <sighs> Ew, it stinks. <laughs> All right, here you go. I'm gonna just start off and say it doesn't smell good. You talking about the bag? Yeah, I don't like it very much. I look bald today. Nah, Why didn't you tell me? I thought you knew, I thought you did it on purpose. Tell me. How you get that milkshake? Dang, big mama. <laughs> Ew. First of all, it's huge. Yeah, it's like your head. Anyway, she don't welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Megan. This is Bryce. How y'all doing? Um, we're literally gonna be filming a mukbang today, and um. We got Whataburger. It's my first time here, out here in Houston. And um, yeah, we're just gonna be answering some questions and eating. And if it's your first time here, tell them what to do, babe. Man, y'all gotta hit that little thumbs up at the bottom. You know, drop a little, <laughs> a little essay at the bottom. And then go ahead and what's subscribe. The? Yeah. And yeah. That's it, right? That's about it. I'm scared to try this. I'm not gonna lie to you. This looks disgusting. Okay, wait till you hit your soul though. Ooh. He's about to keep, yeah, keep chewing. Keep chewing. They don't call it what a burger for me. Whoa, that's so good. You fooling with uh -huh. it? I told you. I like it. Mm. Very good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Question number one. <laughs> Answer. <laughs> Look at Sam's question. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, okay, 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 okay. First question. Yeah. Um, second question. 
What's your go-to ice cream flavor? This one will be hard for you because you eat a lot of ice cream. So you can answer for me. You want me to go first? Yeah. I'm always going to rock with the cookies and cream just because it's been that fun. You don't ever eat cookies and cream. Don't even come Bro. to my camera with lies what? like that. You don't eat it. Bro, because it's always my go-to. I've been doing that this day one. That doesn't even make sense. Check me out, check me out, check me out. Oh my I'm just God, playing the field right bro. Now. I'm this the whole field. time I ain't never seen cookies and cream in your freezer. So what's cookie two still? What it got in it? Cookies and cream and cookie dough, not yeah, cookies and cream. I'm just taking it to another level, but that's always gonna be my foundation. Cookies and cream always gonna be my foundation. Started from the bottom, but we adding to it now. So what does peaches and vanilla have to do with cookies and cream? You know, that's a little summer thing. I'm on the peaches. Red, for the white, summer. and blue. For the you know, for the winter time. But the cookies and cream is always gonna be there for me. Alright, well you're just a liar. Alright. That's not it. Mine is cake batter from Cold Stone. Ooh. Ooh. See, Ooh. I'm a real one. Like mm. I'm consistent. You're just fake, dude. I ain't never seen her eat cake batter ever. I'll say ooh, because it tastes good. That was me touching, because you just tried my life. Okay. We in the hood, somebody gonna come jump on you. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, um, what did you want to be when you were a kid thinking about growing up? Like, what was your like dream job as a kid? A lawyer. Are you being serious? Yeah, serious. That's so cute and intellectual of you. Oh, that's cute. Why, why aren't you one? No. I found out that um, there's a lot of things you got to do to get there now. Mm-hmm. So what do you want to be now? I just didn't have a lot of time for it. What do you want to be now? I really want to be a nurse. Like, I'm, a I'm being serious. Get off of my profession. For real, but I want to be a nurse with you. Okay. I'm just getting a little late start. You know what I'm saying? We can share gloves. Okay, I'm with that. Anyway, yeah, when I was little, I wanted to be a doctor. And now I'm going to be a nurse. Okay. Um, If I can ever pass my classes. <laughs> Bes Reagan said, besides Peanut, what other pet names do y'all have for each other? Bubba, Bubba's, what else? Cookie cutter. <laughs> What's up with you, bro? I don't know. It's really just whatever comes to mind. If you know me, you know that I just like make up the weirdest names for people ever in life. So, Pat it's just a spur of the moment thing. What do you call me? Pat Bay. And now I'm gonna have to insert a picture of Pat back. <laughs> What's been our favorite date together? Oh, you can start with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I'm gonna have to go with the first one. You know what I'm saying? Day one. What was that? Rose Ball. Was that really a date, though? A date. You set it up, though. You, I you really did. Me, you asked me out. I know, I'm sorry. Or oh, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> It was cool though. One of the best football games I've ever watched in my life. It should be the best one. The but best I mean, one. I'm sorry. The best one. I'm sorry. For real. Dead ass. Um, mine would be best date. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. Something in Miami. Like when we went to Miami together. All right. We. Which the best one? You gotta pick one. Like obviously, probably the night you asked me to be your girlfriend. Um. Oh <laughs> How long have y'all been dating? Go ahead, let him know. Who is that? Keegan. Man, God, dog, about to be a year. Officially, yeah, officially a year. But Tell him the date of it's August. Not one. Second, but he's really like been in love with me for way longer than that. Yeah. He just acted like he wasn't. Mm hmm. How did you meet? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Um, that was funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we met on Tinder. I'm hot. I'm hot. Who can cook better? Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you didn't cap on that. I was about to, but I was like, shit. <laughs> what can you cook? I can cook anything. It's just not going to taste like how you make it. Girl. You just put that. Mm, you do, mm, and I'll be like. Um, top trait you appreciate about each other. Oh, mm. uh, go ahead. Compliment me. You're just your positive attitude. You just always turn every negative situation into a positive. 
and I never really see you, you know, complain too much. Uh -huh. That's a really good trait to have. Thank you. And I know where you got it from too. My mom. You. Both of your parents. Thank you. That was cute. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You just got a point for later. <clears throat> anyway. How many points am I at now? Oh, mine for you. Wow, you're crazy. It's how you going to me. How hardworking you are. Mm -hmm. You're like easily the most hardworking person I've ever known and you like never complain about it. You always get it done. You don't make excuses. And yeah. Thank you. You just work really hard and I'm so proud of you. I appreciate it. If you that. don't know, can I just like shout you out for a second? Mm -mm. So Bryce plays football at the University of Houston and goes to school, obviously. And on the side, he <coughs> sells cars and makes sure that he's taken care of, his family's taken care of, and I'm taken care of. And I think that's really cute of you. And he comes home on the weekends to spend time with me and his family. And he still gets up during the week really early and goes to all his workouts. He's never missed a single workout. And I'm just really proud of you. You're really cute. Thank you. And I sit here and complain about getting up early, but it's fine. Oh. No! <laughs> Nobody wants that. What? God, you're so just not, you're just not for me. What did I do though? You farted. No, I didn't. And I'm gonna leave it in too. Bro, I did not fart first of all. You better Bro, stand up. spider about to get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Texas, where everything is bigger. Should we say <clears throat> how we started dating or like no? Everyone wants to know that, but it's just like not something that's gonna get answered. Am I right? It's up to you. It's really up to you. I'm gonna take it away. No, you answer it. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Okay, so how did we start dating? That the answer to that question is we um, spent Thanksgiving together, our families, and then we just started, you know, talking more. And then I was like, oh, he's cool. Like I don't hate him like I used to. And then so I asked him you used to. to hate me though? You were just not. Ugh, but you hated so me. So annoying. Yes, you were annoying. I could not. But hate though. Probably. That's messed up. And then I asked him to come to the Rose Bowl with me, and he's the only person I know. This was the real reason I asked you, because you're the only person I know that can get on a plane just last minute like that. You That's know. the only reason? That was it. Oh, alright. And then we go to the Rose Bowl together, and that's when we started to like each other. And then we started dating. That was in January. January, we started dating in August. <laughs> Do you like Texas or Arizona more? Being that you came to visit me in both of them. Um, that was a good question. Hmm. I would say I like Texas more. Wow. I did not like your roommate in Arizona. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel like you're my roommate. Do you? You know what I'm saying? I know how to keep it playing. Keep it, keep it playing. Keep it moving. I don't know. I feel like we started Houston together. So I feel like it's like a different beginning. Like, yeah. Like when I come here, like I feel like I've been here with you. Mm hmm And now I'm just like joining in on what you already had going. You know what I'm saying? Day one. So, I don't know. It's just like a different vibe. But mm. there's like not a whole lot to do here. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, at least when I'm in town, but as soon as I leave, can I go to... That's what I say. I asked you, can I go? I don't even do nothing. What are you talking about? You about to lose your mind when you take that barbecue so Megan. Um, oh, shoot. Come up with another question. My hands are dirty. Bro. Please, you I scooping, bro? Right now. Dang. <laughs> she just take my barbecue sauce and just start scooping. Don't even dip. I have no question. Why is getting your nails done so important to you? Why does it like change your whole life? I just feel like short nails. For me personally, this is my own personal preference. I just don't feel as put together with short nails. 
Like, I don't feel like it's as much of a presentation. I don't feel like your hands look of age. Okay. <laughs> like, I feel like when you're in your 20s, like, you should, like, really, like, go off with your nails. Mm -hmm. Not have a little... Mm. These. Mm -hmm. Um... I feel like they really help me when we're in an argument get my thoughts together because I can like I just feel the attitude come through my nails. Wow. Um You've answered And enough. they look good. I mean like Boom. Boom. Yeah. What is the mm. hardest part about playing D1 football and the most rewarding part? The most rewarding part, the hardest part? Um, just like coming from high school and JUCO, it was not like as serious, as mandatory. It's like a job now. Before yeah. it was me working to get somewhere. Now I'm where I want to be, but I'm still working to get somewhere. But it's within like a, in a like within a parameter, I mm -hmm. guess, because now that. Like, D1 is, like, the next step to, like, NFL and arena football and all that type of stuff. So, it's, it's like, the seriousness. Like, okay, so my coaches get paid million dollars, millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And, uh... So... That was kind of hot. Oh. So, what was hot, bro? I don't know. Keep going. And the most rewarding part about it is just, uh... Since I've been here, I've seen... You know, changes in my body, changes in my athletic ability. I've seen changes in your body too. And just, I mean, it just, you know, <laughs> it pays off at the end of the day. You really are like. I'm to your top bread, man. I just wasn't with it anymore. Man. You really are like much more like muscular and defined. I love that for me. <laughs> oh, I saw it with you, man. I really like. I get you at your peak, I think. Yeah. Everyone else just got you when you look like a crayon. Okay. That's for y'all. You think? Why a crayon though? You just like where you used to not be cute to me. All right. I wasn't cute to you. When I said that, I ain't said that. You said that. I look like a squid. And I. Oh. Wait, this isn't a question. I just want to say, I'm really gassing you up right now. Let me see what you about to say, Megan. Bryce? Like, I feel like whoever you're with, no, just wait. I feel like whoever you with, you're with, you like, want to put them on and like make sure they have the best and they like are at their potential. And so like, I was talking to Bryce about this the other day, but he, like, since I've been dating him, he has helped me glow up and, like, just care more about, like, my outfits and stuff and, like, my everyday appearance, like, way more than I used to. Because I used to be an athlete, so I just, like, never really cared. Like, I was all, I would always have my hair up and just, like, throw whatever t-shirt on. But I feel like you've really liked helped me, you know, like reach my potential to be like a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'll cut it out. Don't worry. Uh, so ladies, if your boyfriend doesn't help you glow up and put you on and just want you to be bad like for yourself, then he's just not it. What about inside your heart? You've made me much better. I still have an attitude though. Um. I didn't know feet were supposed to go on seats. Oh, cool. Hmm. I didn't know you were supposed to take my car all the way to South Atlanta. What foods does one hate but the other one loves? I hate pickles. Sushi. Yeah, yeah. Um, For sure. What, you like all this nasty like uh, what is those? Like, you talking about oxtails? Yeah, like yeah. oxtails. I've never had that. I will swear to God, I will not eat it. Like I'm gonna put it in her food one day. Crawfish. She even know it. What is it called? I don't like crawfish. The little they red They was ones. cool, but they wasn't. Oh. 
Um, he loves bacon. I don't like bacon. You don't? Why don't you know this? No. It's just not a like. I she don't eats like bacon. I will eat it, but I really like. I would much rather have sausage or ham or and like literally anything else. Bacon is my last choice. I'll never purposely order bacon. Um, mayonnaise. He loves mayonnaise. You know I like mayonnaise. He. Ugh. What advice do y'all have for long distance couples? We not long distance. You come out here every day. Every yeah, day I turn around, you just in Houston. Yeah, but besides that. <laughs> uh a lot of FaceTime. A lot of <clears throat> Snapchat, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing each other's face throughout the day helps out a lot for me. What about you? Um <laughs> All right. I don't know. I mean, just like we talk all day, every day. Um, whenever he's about to go into practice or something, he lets me know beforehand. Um, we ask each other like our plan for the day a lot. So every day, yeah, you gotta know the plan for the day. We always talk right before bed. Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we're pretty, for the most part, I feel like we're pretty good at like making time for each other and like letting each other know what we're doing. Um, and if we're one of us is like going out or something, I just feel like we just like up communication and like a Snapchat and sometimes we give each other locations. So that's pretty much it. We trust each other. Move! Move! Can we please kiss? I won't put it in. <laughs> please. Bro, what's up? Ah, oh, please! God dang. Does that mean we yeah. Anyway. We're done now. Thank you for watching. Bryce is irritating. Um, what did I do? Y'all been watching me the whole time. She's saying I'm irritating. What did I do? Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, subscribe. Oh, yep. And that's it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>